Well, I got an unexpected day off today. Wonder what in the world I can get into. I bet my little buddy can help me figure something out. What do you think, Lincoln? Let's go squirrel hunting. Squirrel hunting? Sounds like a plan to me. Guess we better go load up the dogs. Give me Sambo. Sambo's fat. I don't know if he can hunt or not. Get him. Come here, Derby. roads in the woods they not quite as smooth as the highway getting over here been some timber cut down in this patch of woods and these log trucks is really making a mess of this road Dragon bottom. Sure, I'm glad it's not very wet. Look at that big old thing. Is that a claw? That's a skitter. That's basically a claw. That's like a new monkey's claw. And we get to the woods to squirrel hunt. And that's what's going on over here. They're cutting logs and running equipment. We need to be able to hear the dogs. Well, we decided to go ahead and try it anyway. We turned the dogs loose. And as you can see, old Derby is hunting hard. He's standing right here at our feet. Uh, we're on the bluff of overlooking a little old pond. There used to be a few ducks that would come in this pond. And, uh, we'd have a little duck hunt, but I hadn't had ducks in years. Well, our squirrel hunt turned into a catastrophe. First of all, we got in the woods and the logging crew was in there uh, running equipment and machinery and carrying on and making a bunch of racket. And you need to be able to hear when you're squirrel hunting with dogs. And my old dog Sambo, his mouth's not that loud anyway. And we turned the dogs loose and they disappeared for a minute and uh, never heard a bark or nothing. And I kept looking at him on my Garmin, and it showed that Sambo was treed. He just stayed in that one spot and stayed in that one spot, but I couldn't hear him because of uh, all the equipment running. So we started making our way towards him, and when we got close, he came running back to me and with his mouth open, and Lincoln said, oh, there's blood. And he was bleeding out his mouth, and uh, we didn't know what in the world to do, and I had forgot my leash at the truck of all times, so anyhow, I took my belt off and we uh, leashed him up that way and got him back to the truck and he was in agony. So we had to cut our squirrel hunting short, we got it on the road and come back to the house and decided we would check him out. And uh, let me see if I can find this piece here. I dropped it. And so I held his mouth open and got to looking and I could see something hung up down in his mouth but I couldn't get it by myself so my little buddy Lincoln he uh he helped with camera problems so while I held old Sambo's mouth open Lincoln took these things right here let me back up where you can see it and reached down in there and pulled out this this uh 
piece of bone. Let me see if I can get where you can see it better. This piece of bone right here was wedged in his mouth and causing him all kind of trouble. But we got it out now, and Sambo ought to be okay. Until next time, folks, whether you're at work or play, we hope you have a nice day. Keeping it real. At Bill Reddick Outdoors. Sambo, you want to shake? Shake. See y'all. Look at all that.